Of the books called Kings, the second, chapter eight. Now Halisha had spoken to the woman whose son he had restored to life, saying, Arise and go thou and thy household, and sojourn wheresoever thou canst sojourn, for Yahweh hath called for a famine, and it shall also come upon the land seven years. And the woman arose, and did according to the word of the man of the God, and she went with her household, and sojourned in the land of the Polish team seven years. And it was at the end of the seven years that the woman returned out of the land of the Polish team, and she went forth to cry to the king for her house and for her land. Now the king was talking with Gehazi, the servant of the man of the God, saying, Tell me, I pray thee, all the great things that Helisha hath done. And it was, as he was telling the king how he had restored to life him that was dead, that, behold, the woman whose son he had restored to life, cried to the king for her house and for her land. And Gehazi said, My lord, O king, this is the woman, and this is her son, whom Elisha restored to life. And when the king asked the woman, she told him. So the king appointed to her a certain officer, saying, Restore all that was hers, and all the fruits of the field, since the day that she left the land, even until now. And Elisha came to Damashak, and Benahadad, the king of Aram, was sick. And it was told him, saying, The man of the God is come hither. And the king said to Hazael, Take a present in thy hand, and go, meet the man of the God, and inquire of Yahweh by him, saying, Shall I recover of this sickness? So Hazael went to meet him, and took a present with him, even of every good thing of Damashak, forty camels' burden, and came and stood before him, and said, Thy son Ben-Hadad, king of Aram, hath sent me to thee, saying, Shall I recover of this sickness? And Elisha said to him, Go, say to him, Thou shalt surely recover. Howbeit, Yahweh hath showed me that he shall surely die. And he settled his countenance steadfastly upon him, until he was ashamed. And the man of the God wept. And Hazael said, Why weepeth my Lord? And he answered, Because I know the evil that thou wilt do to the children of Yisrael. Their strongholds wilt thou set on fire, and their young men Wilt thou slay with the sword, and wilt dash in pieces their little ones, and rip up their women with child? And Hazael said, But what is thy servant who is but a dog, that he should do this great thing? And Elisha answered, Yahweh hath showed me that thou shalt be king over Haram. Then he departed from Elisha, and came to his master, who said to him, What said Elisha to thee? And he answered, He told me that thou wouldst surely recover. And it was on the morrow that he took the coverlet, and dipped it in water, and spread it on his face, so that he died, and Hazael reigned in his stead. And in the fifth year of Yoram, the son of Achab, king of Yisrael, Yehoshaphat, being then king of Yehuda, Yehoram, the son of Yehoshaphat, king of Yehuda, began to reign. Thirty and two years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned eight years in Yerushalem. And he walked in the way of the kings of Yisrael, 
as did the house of Ahab, for he had the daughter of Ahab for a woman, and he did that which was evil in the sight of Yahweh. Howbeit Yahweh would not destroy Yehuda for Dawid his servant's sake, as he promised him to give to him a lamp for his children always. In his days Adom revolted from under the hand of Yehuda and made a king over themselves. Then Yoram passed over to Tharir and all his chariots with him, and he rose up by night and smote Adom that compassed him about and the captains of the chariots, and the people fled to their tents. So Hadorm revolted from under the hand of Yehuda to this day. Then did Lebna revolt at the same time. And the rest of the acts of Yoram and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Yehuda? And Yoram slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of Dawid. And Ahoziahu his son reigned in his stead. In the twelfth year of Yoram the son of Ahab, king of Yishrael, did Ahoziahu the son of Yehoram, king of Yehuda, begin to reign. Two and twenty years old was Ahoziahu when he began to reign, and he reigned one year in Yerushalem. And his mother's name was Ataliyahu, the daughter of Omri, king of Yishrael. And he walked in the way of the house of Ahab, and did that which was evil in the sight of Yahweh, as did the house of Ahab, for he was the son-in-law of the house of Ahab. And he went with Yoram, the son of Ahab, to war against Hazael, king of Aram, at Ramoth Galaad, and Aram wounded Yoram. And King Yoram returned to be healed in Yezerahel of the wounds which Ramim had given him in the Ramah, when he fought against Hazael, king of Aram. And Ahoziahu, the son of Yehoram, king of Yehuda, went down to see Yoram, the son of Ahab, in Yezerael, because he was sick. And Elisha, the prophet, called one of the sons of the prophets, and said to him, Gird up thy loins, and take this vial of oil in thy hand and go to Ramoth Galaad. And when thou comest thither, look out there, Yehu, the son of Yehoshaphat, the son of Namashi.